guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I wanted to do something that was perfect for every day and I love this for an everyday look. It's glamorous, but it's not too overdone. You can still see like my freckles and stuff through my foundation. So I love this for like running errands or work or anything like that. And I am using a lot of It Cosmetics products because I did a It Cosmetics video a little while ago. I think it was about a month ago maybe. And I got a lot of new products from them and I just wanted to sit down and use them for a full video. So basically everything on my face, I think except for one product is from It Cosmetics and I do tell you guys kind of my first impressions on a lot of them so if you'd like to see how I got this look and what I think about the products then just go ahead and keep on watching. I went ahead and did my brows off camera with the Build-A-Brow in Universal Taupe and I'm just applying this Vitality Lip Flush and I love this as a lip balm. It does also have like a stain and tint to it but it just makes my lips so smooth. Since I'm doing something really simple with the eyes, I am going to do my face first. I used the CC Plus Illumination in the shade Medium, and I also did one little pump of the CC Plus Bronzer just to give my skin a nice healthy glow. So I'm just dotting that all over my face, and then I'm going to be buffing that in with a Heavenly Luxe brush, and this just made my skin look so healthy and radiant, and it also has an SPF of 50 in it. So it's going to help protect your skin, and this stuff just stayed on all day and just made my skin look so healthy, so that's why I love it so much. You guys have heard me rave about the Bye Bye Under Eye, but this is the eye lift in a tube. So on one side, I do have the Bye Bye Under Eye, which I'm applying first, and then there's a brightener on the other side. Since you don't want to use too much of the Bye Bye Under Eye because it's so concentrated, I like to do just a little bit of that and then do the brightener on top of it. So I'm just applying that also to my chin, around my mouth where I can get some discoloration, and then to the center of my forehead to really brighten up my face. And to blend out all that concealer, I did just flip over that Heavenly Luxe brush and use that small pointed end. You guys have heard me say before, I just think this is the best tool to blend out that bye-bye under eye. To set that concealer under my eyes, I'm using this matte white shade from the My Sculpted Face Palette, and I'm just applying that, like I said, over the concealer underneath my eyes. This is also going to help brighten as well as keep that concealer in place all day. For the rest of my face, I'm using the Bye Bye Pores Press Powder and this huge fluffy brush. This seriously is the softest brush I've ever put on my face and I love this powder. It's so finely milled but it seriously blurs out any imperfections that you have on your skin. For the eyes, I'm using the Naturally Pretty Palette from IT Cosmetics and I'm using the shade Warmth first with just a big fluffy brush. This is a really great transition shade, especially for my skin tone. It's just one step up from my skin tone so it's going to give me definition without looking too harsh. The look that I'm doing today is super wearable for every day, but if you guys want to see more tutorials with this palette, then just let me know in the comments. To add some more warmth to the crease, I'm using the shade Sunrise and that same brush and basically just doing the same thing. I'm just taking this all over that crease area in big circular motions. Now of course I'm just taking a Sigma E40 brush and just brushing around any edges that I see that look a little too harsh for me. And now I'm taking the shade Mocha in a Sigma E25 brush. This one's just a little bit more precise. And I just wanted to add some definition to the outer corners and make it a little bit darker. So I'm just starting on that outer corner doing small circular motions and then I do take that into the outer crease as well. For my lid shade, I'm taking Love and I also added a little bit of the Transforming Pearl shade. This one will just give it a little bit of a sheen and I just layered those together and I'm applying that all over the lid. When I applied the lid shade, I did lose a little bit of the intensity that I wanted so I'm just applying a little bit more mocha to that outer corner. Now just apply some liner to your upper lash line to make your lashes look fuller and just bring a little bit more definition to the eye. And you could totally just go with a thin line across your upper lash line or you could do a wing like I am. I'm not doing anything too dramatic or harsh, just a tiny little wing. For mascara, I'm using the Hello Lashes from IT Cosmetics and I'm just applying a nice generous coat to my upper lashes. But I am also going to be applying false lashes because I just love them and it's so much easier for me to do than to try and build up my natural ones that are so small. So I'm applying the Ardell Glamour Wispies. Now it's on to the lower lash line. I want to make sure that my lower lash line has a little bit of definition, especially because I'm not going to be using any liner in my waterline, especially for daytime, I just think it looks too harsh on me. So I took mocha and I ran that from outer corner to inner corner, and then I'm just taking a small buffer brush and I'm applying sunrise on top of that and just blending it out so it looks nice and soft. After that, I applied a good coat of the mascara to my lower lashes, and I really love that mascara to really lengthen my lower lashes. And now I'm just highlighting my inner corners and my brow bone, and I use Transforming Pearl from the palette. It's nice and iridescent without looking too harsh. 
To contour, I'm mixing these two shades from my Sculpted Face Palette and I'm using my contouring brush from Real Techniques. I'm just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, around my temples, also on the sides of my chin, and then I also do contour my nose. And I really love the shades in this contouring palette. They're nice and cool tone, so it looks like a natural shadow. I also really love the texture of these powders. They're really soft and blendable, but they're also really pigmented. So you just have to use a little bit and it goes a really long way. So I just contoured my nose and then of course I'm blending it out so it doesn't look so harsh. For my cheeks, I didn't really have a peachy shade from It Cosmetics, so I just applied this one from City Color just to the apples of my cheeks for a nice flush. For my highlight, I'm first using the Hello Light Cream Illuminizer and I'm applying that with a flat foundation brush to the highest points of my cheeks for a nice, beautiful, soft glow. But because you guys know I love a really good highlight, I'm also going to be layering on the highlighter from the Sculpting Kit. So I applied that right on top of that cream and then I also applied just a little bit to my nose and also my chin. For my lips, I'm using the CC Plus Lip Serum in the shade Love. This is such a beautiful color for every day. It's like your lips but better and it's super hydrating. So once you get that on your lips, your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!